Hi, this is Christian, and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news, coming your way, Week 9 Predictions. In our spotlight game of the week, it's the undefeated Panthers as they host the 6-1 Green Bay Packers. Now the Packers, they just came off of a tough loss to the undefeated Denver Broncos, but they'll be looking to take down the NFC's best team by record so far, the Carolina Panthers. This will be a big test for both teams, and it will show a lot about what their teams really hold. The Panthers have been criticized for not playing great teams, but as I say, you can only play the teams on your schedule. The Packers will probably be the toughest team the Panthers face all year, so this will be a great indicator to see where the Panthers will stand for the rest of the year. The Packers would like to rebound off their last week's loss, but against the Panthers, I think it will be a tough task. If Cam Newton and Jonathan Stewart can run on the ground, then I think it will be too much for the Packers, and I'm picking the Carolina Panthers to win the game. Dylan's prediction is the Green Bay Packers. The next matchup is between the Tennessee Titans and the New Orleans Saints. Now, the Tennessee Titans, while they're getting their star quarterback back, Marcus Mariota, and hopefully he can bring a spark to a Titans team that has not looked too great so far. They've shown flashes and have perform well in some games, almost upsetting Atlanta per se, but they just haven't been able to close the deal. The Saints, on the other hand, well, they've looked pretty good as of late with their star receivers coming up in the clutch, Willie Sneed, Brandon Cooks, and Marcus Colston, along with breakout tight end Ben Watson and, of course, Brees, seven touchdowns last week, and the Saints look like they could push for a late postseason run. So we'll see what happens. It will be tough for the Saints to make the playoffs because of their tough division with Carolina and Atlanta and other wildcard teams fighting as well, but if they can win this game, they'll be well on their way. The Titans would love to play spoiler here in the Superdome, but I just don't see it happening and I see the New Orleans Saints getting the job done. Dylan's prediction is the New Orleans Saints. It's another matchup here between the New York Giants and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now. This game might not seem as exciting, but I think this will be one of the most underrated games of the weekend, and it could put up a lot of points. The Giants, well, if I told you Eli Manning threw six touchdown passes last week, most people would say that he had won the game. But no, they'd be wrong, as Brees threw seven, and we all know the Giants lost 52-49. Now the Giants would love to rebound against this NFC South foe, and it will be tough to win against the Buccaneers because Jameis Winston has actually played pretty well. But with the Giants and the NFC East division, and they're not playing too dominant, but neither is the rest of the division, so even if they lose this game, it won't be too big of a deal and they shouldn't fall too far behind. But anyway, I think the Giants gain ground in the NFC East and defeat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Dylan's prediction is the New York Giants. It's Monday Night Football as the Chicago Bears, the Monsters of the Midway, take on the San Diego Superchargers. Now both teams have dumpster fires for defense, so this means a bunch of points on Monday night. Phillip Rivers has the highest yardage total throughout the season, and he's been playing pretty well, but the record doesn't show that as the Chargers need a win to stay in postseason contention. Chicago hasn't been as bad as I thought either, with Alshon Jeffrey in the fold and dominating the way he used to, then I think the Bears have a real good shot to exploit the San Diego secondary that has not played too well. The running game will need to get going for Chicago as Matt Forte is out, so backup running back Jeremy Langford will need to pick up the slack if the Bears have any hope of winning this game. It'll be a tight game, but I think at home, San Diego edges out Chicago. Dylan's prediction is the San Diego Chargers. How about a bonus game for you? It's the Denver Broncos and the Indianapolis Colts. Now, it's a battle of the two quarterbacks and Manning's old team, of course, but it'll be a tight game, and I I don't think the Broncos will run away with it like they did against the Green Bay Packers, but overall, I see the Denver Broncos coming out on top in a close. Dylan's prediction is the Denver Broncos.
player of the week is New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees. Now after a seven touchdown performance last week against the New York Giants, his Saints are in pole position to try to compete for a wild card spot, the sixth seed most likely in the NFC. After being left for dead, the Saints look like they could be a postseason team. Can Brees lead them to the postseason? I guess we'll find out and see. The Christian Spring Team of the Week is the Oakland Raiders. Now the Raiders, well, I think that they could be a serious postseason contender and could get the fifth or sixth seed in the AFC if they keep up what they're doing. But the AC-DC combination and a tenacious defense that can you know, really stop teams, and I think the Oakland Raiders would be a great team and they are the Christian Spring Team of the Week. On Thursday Night Football, it was the Battle of Ohio when the Cincinnati Bengals took on the Cleveland Browns with the Bengals keeping their undefeated record intact, 8-0, winning the game 31-10. Now, the Cincinnati Bengals, well, they've been criticized for not performing in prime time, but they did here on Thursday Night Football. Andy Dalton threw three touchdown passes to Tyler Eifert, and that was good enough for the Cincinnati Bengals to dominate the Cleveland Browns and Johnny Manziel on Thursday Night Football, 31-10. Week 8 was very exciting. Let's check out the final scores. Patriots over the Dolphins, 36-7. The Vikings over the Bears, 23-20. The Panthers in overtime over the Colts, 29-26. The Chiefs over the Lions, 45-10. The Buccaneers in overtime over the Falcons, 23-20. The Cardinals over the Browns, 34-20. The Rams over the 49ers, 27-6. The Saints over the Giants, 52-49. The Ravens over the Chargers, 29-26. The Bengals over the Steelers, 16-10. The Texans over the Titans, 20-6. The Raiders over the Jets, 34-20. The Seahawks over the Cowboys, 13-12. And the Broncos over the Packers, 29-10. My record prediction for Week 8 was 10-4. Dylan's was 6-8. My record prediction of the entire year is 76 and 43. Dylan's is 69 and 50. The upset of the week was Buccaneers versus Falcons, and the most entertaining game was Colts versus Panthers and Giants versus Saints.